Today, I'm going to give you the exact steps you can take to start a career in IT without spending a single coin. That's what I'm talking about! Just so you know what to expect, I'm going to cover IT theory, like what you should learn and where you should go to learn it. I'm going to talk about the different technologies that you should work with and try to practice labbing with. And then we're going to cover the whole job hunt section, like how to create your resume, portfolio, prepare for interviews, and that sort of thing. Just for some context, I do teach a paid IT course through Course Careers. It's gotten a lot of people jobs. There's about 3,000 people on that course. And this video is just gonna teach you how to emulate that course for free if you don't want to spend any money. Of course, there's gonna be some difference between this video and the course. Basically, I'm gonna just be telling you what to do, but the course kind of hand holds you through most of the stuff that I'm talking about. And then you have a Discord at your disposal as well as a few other things. So just keep that in mind. Much like the course, this video is going to be broken down into three sections. That is IT theory, the hands-on practical labs, and the job hunt section. So the IT theory section, this will be broken down into computing, cloud computing, networking, and then security. And in my opinion, the best way to kind of learn this, in, in my opinion, is using Google IT support professional certification uh, trial period. So basically, I'll put a link for this in the in the description. You would sign up for it, like maybe block off like a week of time and sign up for it and go as far as you absolutely can in that program. And then if you don't want to spend money, just make sure to cancel it um, before the seven day period is up. The curriculum is just put together really well. There's nice videos and labs and all, all kinds of like quizzes and practice questions and stuff. And in my opinion, it's just put together really well. So. After you go through seven days of that, you can kind of finish up the IT theory section by going through Professor Messer's CompTIA A plus videos for free. They're really decent, they're succinct, they're to the point, and they're they're just really quality. And then I might recommend drilling some practice questions for CompTIA A plus to kind of connect the dots on the stuff that you learned in the Google IT support program, as well as Professor Messer's videos. I have a whole bunch of A plus practice questions on my company website. I'll put a link for that in the, in the description. I also have practice questions for Network Plus and Security Plus too. Those are all like completely 100% free. You don't even have to sign up, you can just click the link and start practicing. After going as far as you could with Google IT support, Professor Messer and doing the CompTIA A plus practice questions, you're gonna have a really decent foundation as far as theory goes when it relates to IT. Moving on to the hands-on lab section, there are three basic labs I might recommend you do at a minimum. In the course, we have, I believe, seven, but these three I, I recommend you do. So the first thing we're going to learn is Microsoft Active Directory on-premises. The second thing we're going to learn is Microsoft Enter ID. This used to be called Azure Active Directory, but they rebranded it recently. And then the third thing is going to be ticketing systems. I'm gonna tell you how to learn these things in a second, but I'm recommending these three things because they are super common across all our large organizations. Basically, Active Directory is used to keep track of users and provision people access for stuff. Azure Active Directory or Microsoft Enter ID is just basically the cloud version of that. It's a super popular identity provider provider and then ticketing systems of course all I don't want to say all but most IT jobs use some kind of ticketing system even if you're working in like security or software engineering you always have like some kind of ticketing system that you use to keep track of work so it's good to practice and learn how to use these three things so for the first two things Microsoft Active Directory and Microsoft Enter ID aka Azure Active Directory Microsoft has a, a free platform called Microsoft Learn you can just use that to kind of go through both programs there's a bunch of modules you can do to kind of practice and learn stuff as you go for the third thing the ticketing system you can actually sign up for Zendesk for free they have a ticketing system that you can use to practice with and learn how ticketing systems work and create tickets and kind of quote quote unquote, work them to resolution. They have a free trial that you can do with that. So get a hold of that. They have a lot of documentation and just practice using it. I'll definitely watch this video where I talk about how I built and maintain my 100K skills. Basically, in a nutshell, I, I do them through repetition. Like I, I pick something that I know is marketable, marketable and I do it many, 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 many times. And it, every time I do it kind of builds my intuition for it. So for example, the more times you set up Active Directory, you're gonna have a, a deeper and deeper understanding of what's going on when you do it, especially if it's a kind of in-depth detailed lab. So I might consider going through those lab portions many times. Like 
set up uh, Microsoft Enter ID and, and do a lot of stuff with it many, many times. Like with the ticketing system, you don't necessarily have to set it up many times, but do a lot of um, repeated actions in it, like creating users, creating tickets to so do it many, many times. And the more times you do it, the better intuition you'll have for it and the, the better or rather the easier it's going to be to talk about when you get to the interview phase. And then finally, the fourth lab, this is going to be a special lab. This is where you create your portfolio and inside your portfolio, you're going to put projects that you've done in the first three labs. So maybe a project on Active Directory, a project on Microsoft Enter ID, and then a project on the ticketing system. So maybe you're setting up Zendesk and showing how to create tickets or something. The projects can just be tutorials, basically, where you, we talk about how to use each one of those things. And the whole point of this is you're just showcasing your ability to do certain things with employers. And then you're going to take uh, your portfolio link in the end and put it on your resume. Definitely check out this video. I go through exactly like how to create a portfolio, what to put on it, and how it's supposed to look on your resume. And finally, getting to the job hunt section, we're going to build your resume here and we're going to learn how to interview and then we're going to learn how to apply to jobs. So basically, um, I would recommend using this resume. This is actually the resume that I use in the IT course. It's heavily optimized for human readability, like it's easy for people to look at. There's like a huge you know, wall of text on it. And it's also optimized for ATS, which is applicant tracking systems. Basically, you want your resume to be as simple as possible with all of the relevant sections on it, because when you start doing crazy things like tables and like splitting it into columns, it's possible that the, the ATS can't read it and it will omit like a whole, like your portfolio section or it will om omit your experience or something and you'll just get filled filtered from it. So it's important to have a, a really highly optimized resume. I would recommend using this one and they're just kind of fitting it to match you. If you want more of a deep dive for the resume, I definitely recommend watching this how to build a God tier resume for $0 video. So getting into the interview practice section, I recommend watching these two videos. Um, this first video is how to use ChatGPT to absolutely crush your interviews. It's really important. And the second video is a cybersecurity interview theory video. You don't have to watch the whole thing, like the actual questions, but the first part of the video is like really important and relevant. It covers what type of questions you're gonna get asked in IT and cybersecurity jobs and like how to anticipate and answer them. So for example, you get asked personal questions, like, uh, like, why do you want to work for us? For example, you get asked situational questions, like what would you do if X happened? You might get asked some like random trivia, right? Like, tell me why you would use Active Directory, like just these kind of things. And it teaches you how to properly anticipate and answer them. And then after watching these two videos, I'll take this list of 100 entry level IT jobs. There's like the title and the job description, and you can take them and you can use ChatGPT for free and you can use the job descriptions to generate a lot of interview questions for you to practice with. You can dump both of them into ChatGPT and say something like, okay, like based on this job description or these job descriptions, please make me 50 interview questions. And you can even go a step further and be like, okay, now please generate answers to these 50 interview questions. And I wouldn't recommend like trying to memorize the answer or anything like this, but I would like read the questions that it makes, read the answers, and then fully understand like what, what is being talked about and what's being said. And then after you have like a really good understanding of those 50 interview questions, you can then practice articulating your own answers to the questions that it generated. And you can do this as many times as you want with as many different job descriptions as you want. Just the, the more you do it, and the more you practice articulating your answer out loud, the easier time you're going to have when you actually go to the interview. Cause you know how it is. Like you go to the interview and your IQ like just gets cut in half suddenly and you, you can't think to combat that. This is, this is why it's so important to practice a lot of interview questions and actually practice articulating your answer. You're gonna have a much easier time when you actually go to start interviewing. So now that it's time to start applying, I, I would recommend watching these two videos. Um, the first one is top 10 search terms for hidden IT jobs. And then the second one, how to find IT jobs with low applicants. You want to make sure, well, I recommend you apply to jobs that have kind of less applicants because that just increases your chance to get a callback, right? 
it's you know everyone's gonna go to like indeed and type help desk and just like apply to like the help desk jobs but there's a lot of entry-level it jobs that have really obscure job titles or they're in some region where nobody wants to live right so it could be beneficial to you um, to apply in you know north dakota or wyoming or something like this somewhere that you don't want to live because your application like time period might be cut from you know three months down to like three weeks or something like this and you can just start working sooner than later maybe you can like suffer right by living in oklahoma or whatever for six months but after that you have actual experience and it becomes much easier for you to find job elsewhere so i'm not telling you to like move across the country i'm just saying like be open-minded about it and be smart about the jobs you apply to um, use these two videos to learn how to apply to jobs that not everyone is applying to because I think it will reduce the time to interview by quite a bit. And then finally, when you're applying to jobs, I highly recommend using this job application tracking template. You can just keep track of all the places you've applied to and like if they've called you back or what stage in the application process you are because when people start like calling you, it, it's really nice to have something to look at and be like, oh, okay, this is from uh, Apex systems. I, I applied to them last week instead of someone calling you for an interview You have like no idea who it is because you weren't keeping track of your application So highly rec highly recommend using this. I'll put a link for this as well in the description Nothing in life is guaranteed I want to say but I can pretty much guarantee that if you implement this guide really well At least you're going to be better than the next person and that's pretty much all that matters when you're job hunting Just be really consistent about what you're doing and make sure that you're you know better than average or better than the next person and eventually you're going to end up finding something definitely check out the hands-on it course i teach with course careers it's pretty much like what i described in this video but there's more labs and everything is kind of structured and packaged nicely for you to to follow along with not to mention you have a discord with several thousand students in it where you can interact with them and network and ask questions when you get stuck in that type of thing don't forget about all the free practice questions at joshmaticore.tech exams and we will We'll see you in the next video.